Let's talk to Eddie Tofpick. He's the head of technical analysis and senior market analyst for ADMISI. Very good morning to you, Eddie. Good morning. Right, we've got three currency pairs to kick off with. Let's start with the Mexican peso. Um, what are your thoughts here? Well, in this particular instance, this has always been the dollar Trump trade. Yep. This is the dollar not against the presidency, not against the US uh, government, not against the US country, but literally against President Trump. At this particular point, it's come down with this sort of bear flag we've had to the target, which was around about 1875, something like that. It's now held, holding there. It's not really going one way or another. And you've got this big, big 50% support area. That's at 16.6747. That's holding the market. We, we have no closes below that. You need at least two below that to then have the, ne to the next target, which will be the 16.45 area. And, and the long moving average was 16.48. If you do, that will be the next one on the downside. If they go, then you're looking all the way down to 18 even when you've got that sort of uptrend coming through on the bottom there. But at this particular point, it's not really doing very much. We've had two closes underneath the medium moving average, which is that purple line you can see going across, yep. so that's at 1877 and change. It's not really pushed down. If but it's, hit, it's an initial target, okay, and yeah. at that point you would think basically you'd have a pause, right? You'd think it would, but it could be, there should be some follow through on this, especially we've had this, this, this move down, but it's not really gone below that, that, that 1647 area, 67 area, that's the one that's really, really key. You need two closes below that to really push it now. But I've got a feeling maybe it's not done that. Though this is a bear pattern, it may not necessarily be any more at the moment. Understood. Okay, well let's move on to Brazil. Um, the Real, what's going on here? Indecision. indecision. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of indecision. We, we, we had this sort of sideways channel, which is I, I've taken off basically because we've explored the bottom side of it, but it's still effectively there. But we had a bullish engulfing pattern, a higher high and a lower low above the previous day's open and close, and we closed above it, which is indicative of a move up. And in the last few days, we have moved up. We've gone above the long moving average, we've gone above the medium moving average, and, ab and above a a pretty key 50% uh, Fibonacci level at 322 to 33. It's not really pushed any higher. If we're going to turn around, which we should be looking to do this, we need to turn this thing around soon. And I'd say by the end of this week. So today and tomorrow, really, effectively. So basically a price line and a timeline. Yes, we really should be turning this around. If not, I, I, I don't know, the, the market is, is not going to be necessarily going upwards or downwards, it may be literally going the third way of going sideways. But right now, we've had a turnaround, which is what it should do when it came down to that level. But where's the follow through? Yep, indecision again. Yeah. Right, let's move on to uh, the Indian rupee. <coughs> Nice That's looking chart. Beautiful. Love it. This is why Andrew's pitchforks work. Um, the medium, time, uh, medium line method, medium times there, you can see the, the upper time is acting as pretty good resistance, it's give, and the, the center time is giving you the angle of attack of the market. Top side, 64.09, the middle one at 63.43, and if it turns around and goes down, the downside is at 62.77. So, you know, all the, you've got a lot of resistance above the market, you've got Fibonacci's, you've got moving averages, you've got the action back in August and September, which is on the top of the market. So, yeah, it's turned around, and that's the, a true and righteous thing. It's turned around, it, it will probably, if it, if it follows through with this, it could go down to about the 63.40 area. The only caveat in that is we've had this breakaway gap as you can see earlier this week yeah and that could possibly be a double bottom I'm not sure yet it's too early to say if we do turn around today then that probably negates the double bottom but we need to fill that gap yep gaps, gaps need to be filled, filled. Yeah. yeah okay on that note Eddie thank you very much indeed thank you